Hello and welcome to Discart. Recently, I started thinking of different games that, that were heavily underappreciated on the Wii U, maybe games that should be ported over to the Switch, but nonetheless, I just took a trip to the woods, cleared my mind, and started coming across them as I went through the woods. It was an incredible experience. Let's check it out. So as I'm looking through the woods, a game peeks out at me. The first game that I came across was Bayonetta 2. Now why on this earth you have not played this game, I have no idea. But this is a 10 out of 10 game. Absolutely pristine. It beats most other games out of existence. Because we're talking about Bayonetta here. Hack and slash, button mashing, enjoyable game. Uh, this game's got got combos. This game's got big bosses. Bosses that were designed for hours and hours and hours. They have multiple enemies in this game. You have you have unlockables. You have uh, different outfits for your character. But most of all, you have amazing breadth in the, the way you can play this game. Different levels mean different things. Sometimes you're underwater. Sometimes you're riding on something. Sometimes you're just slashing away and beating stuff. You're using your abilities to get through this and you feel like you're part of this game and these action games that are out there right now do, are not up to snuff with Bayonetta if you if you're not familiar with Bayonetta you could start with Bayonetta 2 it's a great game and it's a fantastic one of the top three games on the Wii U so I would say check it out for sure So I continued to look around the woods, and I came across Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE. Now this game, I wasn't so sure about. I love Persona. I love Shin Megami Tensei, so I figured I'll give this, give it a try. It's very similar to both of those. Um, the only one that it's not similar to is Fire Emblem. It has a, a couple caveats in there, and certainly the characters, but it's not, it's not a Fire Emblem game. This is a game where you go into these dungeons, you run around the dungeon, you slash your foe, and then you enter into a turn-based battle with an enemy. Um, and you, you either win or lose. And also inside of these dungeons you have uh, mini puzzles to, to help get you through it. Uh, it. It feels great. It's a great feeling game. Um, you, you're also leveling up your friends in this game by doing things like having outings with your friends and talking to your friends. And that kind of adds to the experience and helps you unlock these really cool attacks where you can chain people together and 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 do just mega attacks on enemies. And then the game's based on the J-pop scene, which is a really interesting, you know, weird scene to, to be interested in, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, they have these songs that, that they sing, and those are kind of your attacks as you go along. But you get to see these, these full performances, and they're just a really fun addition to the game. Give you a nice break in the gameplay. Um, sometimes it can get a little grindy, but it's overall, it's a fantastic game that is certainly a gem that's on the Wii U. Um, that's going to be top, top five games that's on the Wii U that that has not been played by very many people. I hope it comes to the Switch so more people can see it, but anyway, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, check it out, it's awesome. And then I continued to look through the woods and I came across Xenoblade X. Xenoblade X was sitting there, just waiting for me. And I realized when I had played this game, I had spent over a hundred hours just exploring. I mean, games don't do that to me all the time, and I played some open world games that were just junk. This is not a junk game. There's reviews out there that, that say this is not a very good game. I think most people are basing this off the original Xenoblade, and uh, it's, it's not Xenoblade Chronicles. It, that's not what it is. This, is. this is its own thing. 
Um, you have you have a really cool characters. The story's not great, but you don't need you don't need an amazing story to to want to explore this gigantic gigantic place. The the fighting is kind of uh, like an MMO type fighting where you you'll hit an attack and it'll just kind of repeat that attack over and over and over again. Um, and you can hit other attacks along the way that are just a, you know a once uh, one time use or you have to wait till a, you know a certain uh, bar or amount of points come back till you can use it again. But for the most part, you're just exploring in this game. Buy it to explore. We use out, man. Switch is in. We use, we use prices are going down. This game is well worth the money. Uh, we, we got the, the special edition here and it's still one of, one of our favorite games on the Wii U. Definitely in the top tier of the Wii U's games, so check it out. And then I come across Hyrule Warriors, which is one of my top two games on the Wii U console altogether. Hyrule Warriors, believe it or not, is a fantastic game. You're, you're hacking, you're slashing, you're button mashing. There's, you know, pretty limited combos in, in these games. These uh, Dynasty Warrior type games, Musou, I think is what they're called. But, you know, it's, it's incredibly fun. It's not repetitive, it doesn't get repetitive. There's a million levels to do in this game. Um, and there's a million ways to, to, to do it. I mean, you're running around, you're taking keeps, you're destroying enemies, you're fighting Ganon, you're doing a lot of things. And you never have to feel like you're, you're all in on a huge storyline or anything like that. It's not, you know, all or nothing like it is in some of these open world games. You can pick this game up, you can play a couple levels, you can put it down, and you can go back to work and have a nice day. And, and that's what we really liked about it. Even the multiplayer, is really good. You have a, a pretty severe drop in quality for for multiplayer um, on the Wii U due to the hardware, but it's still incredibly fun and enjoyable. I would say it's it's like a nine out of ten for me that game because of the amount of time I spent in it. Um, the design was there, and Nintendo made sure that this was a great title because they had Zelda in it. So check it out. It's really good and enjoy it. And there it was, Pikmin, just sitting there looking at me, saying, hey, why haven't people played me? And I replied, I don't know, I have no idea why people have not played you. Um, other than the fact that people didn't buy the, the Wii U right away uh, for some reason. But this, this is a puzzle game, a puzzle strategy game, that you throw your Pikmin around and they pick up items and you bring them back to your spaceship and you get more Pikmin and, and there's several different types of Pikmin that do different things, that, that can lift heavy things, they can go through fire, they can go through electricity, they can go underwater, the, the, they can poison an enemy, uh, there's, they can fly. There's a lot of different ways you can use these Pikmin and a lot of ways to skin a cat in this game, which is something I look for in a game and something I really enjoy doing. Um, but the main game has a great story. It's incredibly enjoyable to, to try to complete this story as you go along. Amazing bosses as you go. Um, each one's completely different. You're not just throwing Pikmin at it. I mean, you're probably going to throw Pikmin, but it's not just as simple as chucking it at the thing. Um, it, it can be complicated and you have to figure out that puzzle as you get there, which is, you know, it's good. You don't want just some boring game. Um, it needs to be a little bit difficult at times to accomplish something. But the, the Pikmin uh, franchise has been going for a very long time and this is just, just the next tick in the road. And if you miss it, you miss it. But I think right now, if you get this game and play it, you can be there uh, when Pikmin 4 shows up, which is apparently still being made. I think it's completed and it's probably gonna come out on Switch relatively soon. So, you know, check out these games. Uh, Pikmin's a great one. Uh, Pikmin and Bayonetta, certainly get those games, man. They're 10 out of 10, they're perfect. Check them out. Um, if you get any of these games and you're upset at me for, for liking them or for not liking them, put it down in the comments and let me know why you didn't like it. Uh, you know, and I'm, different people like different games. That's, I totally understand it. Um, not everyone's going to like everyone, everything on this list, but, you know, check it out. And that, that's all you can do. But like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.